Today I'm going to give you two methods to add perspective to your logo. What's going on everyone, my name is Tom from Dreadlabs and the logo that you can see on the screen right now is rather boring. We're going to do something about it by adding some perspective to it. It's actually really easy, so let's just dive straight into the video. The first method will give you a lot more freedom and is easier to navigate around, but the second method can be done in Illustrator and Photoshop and it's actually a lot easier. So stick around until the end of the video and let me know in the comments which of the two versions you prefer. Alright, as you can see we have a black background and our logo here. And the first method I'm going to show you is related to the 3D effect. So let's select our logo, go to Effect, 3D Materials, 3D Classic, Rotate Classic. If you have an older version of Illustrator, you could just go straight to Rotate in the menu of 3D Materials. So we'll click on this, and by rotating this cube, we can basically rotate our logo. The thing is, we need to add perspective, and you can already see it here. Once we open this slider and we change that, we get this really nice and slick 3D effect. It gives us a lot of creative freedom as well because we can also just change individual axes to twist our logo around. And I kind of like something like this. So we'll just click OK. And as you can see, our logo now has perspective. So in order to finalize this, you want to go to Object, Expand Appearance. And in the layer menu, you can see that this is now a clip group. So you can just literally right click Ungroup and then right click Release Clipping Mask. And we can just delete this path around our logo here which leaves us with the 3D version of this logo. So before we dive into method number two, I wanted to ask you if you would like to get the project files from all of my tutorials. That's over 160 Illustrator and Photoshop files actually. And you can get access to all of them by becoming a Patreon member. Thanks to my Patreon members, I'm able to give you guys video tutorials at least one time a week, sometimes even more. Because without my patrons, I wouldn't get enough income to make Dreadlabs my full-time job. So I just want to give a huge shout out to all of my Patreon members at this moment. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Because without you, there wouldn't be a Dreadlabs. As a patron, you'll get access to all of the project files from all of my tutorials. Which at this point is over 160 project files. You'll also get a 15% discount in my asset web store where I sell textures, vector packs, 3D renders and much more, as well as an exclusive role in the Dreadlabs Discord server, where we talk about design, ask for feedback, ask and answer questions and much more. There's also a slightly more expensive tier, which gives you access to exclusive tutorial videos, as well as the project files for my Creatober series, which is an additional around 100 PSD files, Photoshop files, Illustrator files and more. So if this is something you'd be interested in, there's a link down in the description. Of course, I understand that not everyone might have the budget to support Dreadlabs in that way and that's completely fine. However, if you become a patron for one month, you can unsubscribe at any time and this one month gives you access to all of the content in one go. This does mean, however, that you don't have access to future projects. And if you don't have any budget at all, that's completely fine because you can support Dreadless by leaving a like and a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. Since you started liking and commenting on my videos more, my videos do a lot better in the algorithm, so it actually does make a difference if you do that. So thanks in advance for your support and let's get back into the video and start with method number two. All right, let's slide over towards here and this one is actually actually fairly easy. We're just going to select our logo and go to the free transform tool which is over here. You can also press E on your keyboard and you can access this in Photoshop by pressing Ctrl or Command T on your keyboard. This adds a frame around our selection and if we grab one of the corners we can click and drag and by holding Ctrl or Command on our keyboard we can add perspective to this. So if you want to add perspective you want to basically drag this to the left. Same goes for this one and then you want to Drag the right ones inwards. You might need to fiddle around with this method before you start out because you may have to get into the feeling a little bit. But I'd say that this works completely fine just like the first method. And once you're done, you can just click anywhere. So these are just two methods to add perspective to your logos in Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop. So that's it for this video, guys. It's a fairly quick one, but I hope this was useful to you. If it was, please consider liking this video, leaving a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And like I said in the video, if you want to support the channel, become a member of my Patreon. The link is down in the description. With all of that being said, this is Tom from Dreadlabs tuning out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.